Assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to learn about rational and irrational numbers look at the learning outcomes in this session we will learn about what are rational numbers what are irrational numbers and finally you will identify the differences between rational and irrational numbers let's start with rational numbers in mathematics a rational number is a number that can be expressed as a quotient or a fraction of two integers for example just look at this number 3 by 7 in this number 3 is a numerator and number 7 is a denominator you should remember that denominator should always be non zero number dear students every integer is a rational number for example if you look at number 5 all of you know that number 5 is a whole number but we can write this number in the form of fraction by writing 1 as a denominator so number 5 can be written as 5 by 1 and it's the fraction form of this number so it's a rational number the decimal expansion of a rational number either terminates after a finite number of digits for example if you look at the fraction 3 by 4 the decimal expansion of this number is 0 0.75 so it's a rational number or the decimal expansion of rational number eventually begins to repeat the same finite sequence of digits over and over for example if you look at the number the fraction 9 by 44 the decimal expansion of this number is a repeating decimal that is 0 0.2045445 and here you can see that the number 4, 5 will repeat over and over again. In other words, any repeating or terminating decimal represent a rational number. For better understanding of rational numbers, just look at this table. Just look at the first number, number 55. As I explained earlier, that all the whole numbers can be written in the form of fraction so number 55 can be written in a fraction form by writing 1 as a denominator and yes this is rational number now if you look at a decimal number 1.75 the fraction form of this number is 175 by 100 and yes it's also a rational number similarly if you look at the next number that is a decimal number 0.001 the fraction form of this number is 1 by 1000 and yes, it's a rational number. Now, if you look at the decimal number 0 0.111, that is the repeating decimal. Here you can see that all the repeating decimals can also be written in the form of fraction. So this number can be written as 1 by 9. And as I have explained to you the definition of rational number, yes, it's a rational number. Now, my dear students, just look at the number 4. If we will take the square root of this number 4, all of you know that the square root of number 4 is 2. And 2 can be written in the form of fraction. So, it's also a rational number. Now, just look at the next number. Can you find out the square root of number 2? Pause this video and try to get the answer. Dear students, you can see that square of, uh, of number 2 cannot be written as a simple fraction. It means that square roots and cube roots of non-perfect square numbers and non-perfect cube numbers are not rational numbers. Then what are these numbers? These numbers are irrational numbers. Now just look at uh, the few uh, points which will explain you that what type of numbers are irrational numbers. Irrational numbers cannot be written as the quotient or fraction of two integers. If a whole number is not a perfect square, then its square root is an irrational number. It means square roots, cube roots of non-perfect square numbers and non-perfect cube numbers are also irrational numbers. 
irrational number includes all the non perfect cube numbers pi and the golden ratio as well the decimal expansion of an irrational number continues without repeating well students uh, famous irrational number is pi if you just look at the value of pi here you can see that the value of pi is non recurring and non terminating value so it's a irrational number same goes for golden ratio the golden ratio is an irrational number if you just look at its value it's a non recurring and non terminating value and uh, similarly as i have explained earlier that the square root and cube root of non perfect square numbers and non perfect cube numbers are also irrational numbers well students now it's a time to identify either these numbers are rational or irrational just look at these examples and try to solve these questions by yourself then we will solve it as a whole class okay if you look at a part square root of number 5 5 is a whole number but if you and all of you know that it's not a perfect uh, square if you will take the square root of this number you will not get your answer in the form of fraction so it's a irrational number now if you look at the second part minus 12.75 it's a terminating decimal and all of you know that all the terminating decimals are rational number now look at the c part if you will take the square root of number 16 you will get 4 and when you will divide this number with 2 your answer will be 2 and yes 2 is a whole number so it's a rational number now if you just look at few more examples to identify either these numbers are rational or irrational numbers you can see that in a part number 9 is given number 9 is a perfect square if you will just take the square root of this number you will get 3 and yes 3 is a rational number minus 35.9 is a terminating decimal and yes it's a rational number now look at c part square root of number 81 will give you 9 and when you will divide this number with 3 you will get 3 as a an answer and 3 is a whole number and yes it's a rational number now students try to solve these questions you have to identify which one of these numbers is rational or irrational if you look at the first uh, a part Here you can see that you have to find out the square root of number 21. It's a irrational number because it's not a perfect square and you will not get your answer in the form of a whole number or a fraction. Now here in the B part 0 by 3. Here you can see that denominator is a non-zero number so it's a rational number. Now if you look at this example 23 If you will take the square root of this number you can see that it's not a perfect square so it's a irrational number what about the next example 9 by 0 here you can see that denominator is 0 so it's a undefined number so it's not a rational number okay well now students it's the last example If you just look at this question here you can see that you have to take the square root of numerator as well as uh, denominator so when you will take the square root of numerator you will get 8 and when you will take the square root of denominator you will get 9 8 by 9 so it means that you can write this number in the form of fraction so yes it's a rational number Dear students I hope you got the concept of rational and irrational numbers in case of any query you can ask your teachers in the google classroom thank you